Now, it's winter and our power bills are sky high. So in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters today, we're talking about how to save you money. Charlotte, welcome. Thank you. Colder, shorter days means lighting, power bills, really putting a strain on households. Yes, well, and our fin financial health of our customers is really important. So we spoke to Sue Chetwin earlier this week about how you can save money on your power bill. Great. Let's take a look. Yeah, so 38% of people said to us that they had actually turned down their electricity usage because they were concerned about um, the price of it and 62% said that they were concerned about high energy costs. Now this was quite a surprise to us because for the first time in many years electricity prices have actually come down and we think that's probably you know, still a relic of the past. People have had unrelenting price increases for many years. So the benefits of those price decreases haven't actually been felt in New Zealand homes yet. What the survey probably also showed was that more people are in rental accommodation and they have less control over the um, energy costs in their house, you know, they're not in control of the insulation and all those sorts of things that can make your house warmer. So we think that probably was part of the reason why people were so concerned about the prices and having to turn down their electricity. Recent moves by the Electricity Authority, which is the regulator, have seen far more new retailers come into the market. Um, we've got 31 retailer brands in the market now that's a huge number these are real challenges offering innovative new ways for people to get their electricity you can now buy your electricity on the spot market if you're prepared to take that risk there are some companies offering a free hour of electricity every day so there are all these different ways of you being able to buy electricity and at the same time we've got our power switch site which is a free site and which allows people to make comparisons on um, on electricity prices and a few other things so you can find the cheapest power supplier in your area. Well there's lots of ways people can actually you know have some control over their power bills now. There's obviously um, energy efficient appliances that are out there. Um, a third of your bill goes on hot water and a third of your bill goes on space heating. So make sure you know if you've, if you've got your house insulated you've got and you've got a heat pump you've got the right size heat pump. Um, you've got efficient space heating. There are some efficient space heaters that are out there now. So just making sure that you're doing everything to keep your house warm and it not only does it keep bills down but it also keeps you healthier. If you're not happy um, with your energy provider, the place to go to complain is the Electricity and Gas Complaints Commission. Um, you know, they will look at things like your bill, um, you know, who owns the tree, who owns the lines, um, and anything else that you might have any concerns about. And all of the providers um, are obliged to be a member of that complaints scheme. If you want to get more information on anything to do with electricity, gas, and your bills, come to consumer.org.nz. Yeah, that is a shocking fact there from Sue Chet when 38% of respondents say they would rather go cold to save money on power. It's just unreal. Well, it is, and it's not good for families, not good for children's health either to be to doing that. I mean, none of us like being cold. Sue makes some interesting points about checking out um, energy-efficient appliances as well. The consumer website has all sorts of information about that. You can subscribe to their magazine as well. So it's certainly worth doing. Turn them off at the wall, that's what they say. Turn them off at the wall. Hmm. Thank you very much, as always, Charlotte.